Hi everyone, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Matadi for beginners. This video is very important called Parts of Ship. Let's just start. So, this is your ship. This is the forward part of the ship. This is the astern part of the ship. Piche wale part ko kete? Astern part of the ship. Okay? So now, in the forward part, you have got this main deck, all this pipeline. This is the image of a tanker. This is where your uh, windlass machines are fitted. So this is cargo oil tank 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, something like this. Okay. So if this is your bridge over here, this is your engine room part over here. Under, this is not just, not just the engine room part. From here till over here, down below is all engine room. This is your accommodation part over here. Again. On the top, this is your bridge and this is the accommodation part as well. This is your funnel over here. If the ship is moving in forward direction, it is called the ship is moving in ahead direction. If the ship is moving in backward direction, it is called ship is moving in astern direction. If at all, say I am standing over here with my face in the ahead direction, then my right hand side is starboard side. My left hand side is port side. Say I am standing over here. Okay. And there is a machinery over here. Then this machinery is on my port side. If I am standing over here. And there is a machinery over here. Then this machinery is my forward direction. If I am standing over here. And this there is a machinery over here. Then this machinery is the in the aft direction. If I am standing over here. And machinery over here. It is in my starboard direction. Copy it. This is me standing and this is machinery. So that is how you decide what is forward, what is ahead, what is astern, what is port, what is starboard. Let's move ahead. This is your bulbous bow on the forward side of the ship, which is cruising through the water moving ahead. This part is really important. Can you see this is rounded? Why rounded? Because then in that case, it reduces friction when the ship is moving ahead and reduces friction means it increases the efficiency of the engine. Copied. That is what is important. So this is called bulbous bow. Aage badte hai. What is anchor? On the forward side of the ship. Say this is your ship. Just a second guys. So this is your ship. Like this. This is your in, this is inside your engine room. This is your bridge part over here. So you have got two anchors. One over here and one on the other side. Copied. Say... This is your ship, forward side, one anchor will be over here, one anchor will be over here. So one anchor will be on the starboard side and one anchor will be on the port side. Why two anchors? Because what if one anchor gets lost or gets dragged into the sea or we lose it or the machinery is not working, at least we have another anchor. So this anchor along with this weighted chain goes into the seabed and then gets stuck somewhere. And there's a lot of weight of this chain as well, due to which this ship does not move anywhere further. So if this is your ship and if you have put anchor over here, then if this anchor is over here, then this ship can move only in this area. Copy it, it cannot go far off. But in case of extreme weather, if this ship starts moving over here, that means your anchor is dragging and your anchor is shifting. So at that time, we start picking up anchor and we also start using our engines. That means weather is rough. These are different parts of anchor. Shank, balancing band, stock, keep in, ring, head, bill, fluke, crown arm. Aage hai. Propeller. This is a propeller. Can you see? So this is your main engine rotating inside. This is a propeller shaft which is connected to the propeller. I'll show you some a very good video over here. So right now, this is the aft part of the ship. But the back end of the ship. Iske andar se ja ke, this is your engine room over here. Over here is your main engine fitted. So when your main engine is turning, the shaft is rotating. When the shaft is rotating, this propeller is rotating. This propeller is normally inside the water. This propeller is like a fan. So when it is inside the water, it starts cutting the water and throws it backwards. When it throws it backwards, for an every action, there is an equal and opposite direction as per Newton's third law. A thrust in the forward direction is generated which acts on the hull of the body. Ye jo force hai, ye hull pe lagti on the body of the ship and the ship moves in 
forward direction. Okay, let's talk about this other important part that is rudder. What is this rudder? Suppose you are going on a boat where you have to pedal. There is a handle in your hand. Normally, if you have seen. So suppose you are pedaling, and then with the help of handle, you can turn your boat around. So the same handle is being done by steering gear, and the under beneath inside water, this is the steering gear, this rudder over here. This is the rudder. So how does it work? I'll show you over here. If so, if the propeller is turning over here, water is coming like this. If I am the rudder and I am straight like this, say I am like this, so water just goes like this. Nothing happens, and the ship moves in forward direction. No problems. Now I am the rudder, and from up steering gear, somebody turns me, turn ten degrees. Now when the propeller is pushing water backwards, the water comes, hurts me. and goes like this when it goes like this a forward force is is generated thrust equal and opposite force which acts again in this direction in this direction not like this but in this direction so this force when it goes it acts on the ship body like this and what happens is the ship side starts turning this way similarly if somebody turns me not like this but like this then the water coming over here goes this direction and then the forward force is then the thrust force generated is in the this direction acting on the hull of the body from over here and then the ship start turning in this direction so this rudder is basically helping to turn the ship in any of the directions if it is straight ship is moving in straight direction if it is turning along with that the ship also turns copied aage badhte hain this is hull This is the hull of the ship. This is the body of the ship. Can you see over here? ये जो पूरा है, this is the hull. This is the hull made up of mild steel. Copy it. This you have to know. Another thing that you have to know is the part of the hull inside the water is called draft, and the part of the hull above the water is called freeboard. This is something which you have to know. So if the ship is loaded, the draft is more because ship goes inside. So the part of the hull inside the water increases. right now the ship is loaded i believe that is why this much inside water but the ship is light it will be up above so maybe in that case water level be up till over here only so the draft will reduce copy it let's talk about ballast tanks over here so right now you have a ship and earlier days the ship used to be like this and there used to be oil inside so one day what happened one of the ship had an accident with a rock and there was a hole over here due to which all the oil inside came out and there is a big pollution so then as per marpol it was decided that the especially oil tankers are going to have double hull what does double hull mean ek tanker like this and there is a double hull so if in case this and there is oil over here so in case if there is a if the ship strikes the another shape or another rock and if there is a hole also over here at least the oil over here will not come out copied and out here this is called double bottom tanks double bottom bottom tanks and these are ballast tanks on this side okay these are the ballast tanks now why they are important when the ship is loaded then these tanks are empty these tanks are empty then in that case there is nothing over here these tanks are empty it is like this and only oil is over here but when the oil is being discharged when the ship is becoming light we need to give ship stability nahi to hilega bhai bahut zabardast tarike se jahaj pani mein rolling pitching idhar udhar sab kuch ho jayega so what we do is when there is no oil inside at that time we add water over here we add water over here into the ballast tanks and double bottom tanks okay and that is called ballasting the ship jab hum water add karte hain now what happens is because of this added water over here when the tanks are empty the ship gets more stability because it has more weight so generally in rough weather the ship does not turn much aapko main bata dun out of my own life that Uh, in a light condition the ship is not loaded i feel a lot of rolling pitching and agar blasting nahi hogi i'll just go to heaven so definitely it is very important part 
ओके okay, आगे बढ़ते हैं वॉट इज कील कील इज द बॉटम मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द शिप विच दिस इज अज मेटल प्लेट लेड ओवर हेयर विच इज द बेस ऑफ द शिप ऑन विच द होल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द शिप इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड सो दिस राइट नो दिस इज द शिप इज एन एंड राइड ऑफ इट इज रेस्टिंग ऑन दिस ब्लॉक्स एंड दीज आर ह्यूज ब्लॉक्स कॉपेड एंड दिस इज द कील दिस होल गोइंग अप इन द फॉरवर्ड दैट इज द कील this is the main deck that you can see copied the image that you see right now is of an oil tanker so this is your whole main deck a lot of pipelines crane can you see over here then a lot of walls manifold fenders can you see this mast house copied guys this is discharging going on or loading going on i do not know can you see this pipeline over here going to this over here copied so this is your main deck aage badhte hain this is your bridge now this is something important you see on board ship like say this is a captain standing over here right and through the bridge he wants to do navigation on bridge you will find a lot of equipments like radar gps telegraph this is his seat where he is sitting over here so from here on the bridge he can see outside and accordingly he can take actions right and this part is called the bridge wing this is the wing wing of the bridge this is called the bridge wing this is called the bridge wing copied is a bridge wing kehte hain aage badhte hain now engine room this is me standing in engine control room it is a ac place inside the engine room the only cool place inside engine room otherwise it is all machinery over here very very hot so this is me standing in the engine control room definitely not wearing the right dress especially only for the photograph i went like this so otherwise i'll be wearing this boiler suit and going down working in engine room it is very hot we have got generators main engine a lot of machineries and we work a lot we sweat like anything copied aage badhte hain accommodation after working hell lot you go and sleep in your cabin this is this might be the cabin of a third officer or a third engineer or fourth engineer cabins of chief engineers captains are huge this is the accommodation over here i guess this is the officers smoke room i would say this is a gymnasium on the ship this is the galley oh they are lucky maybe the ship crew is more they have got one chief cook one additional cook and one steward so they are working and doing work so that we can get good food these are cargo holds cargo hold is when we cargo carry karte hain this is a bulk carrier inside which we carry cargo copied can you see over here ye aise karke these open and we can carry cargo inside and these are gumbad jo bane hue this is lng carrier carrying gas over here copied this is what is getting us money the more amount of cargo that we carry the more amount of freight that we get that is money that we want copied funnel can you see this smoke coming out here so inside down below over here so just let me show you once again can you see this is the bridge copied this is your funnel and your main engine is down below over here a lot of exhaust smoke is coming which is coming out from over here coming from main engine from generator and this smoke should not be black in color that is a problem guys remember that okay with this all i can say is thank you very much jai hind jai bharat jai mata